My name is Keevan Lewis. I'm Navajo, and I'm the Outreach Coordinator at the National Museum of the American Indian in Washington, D.C. And I oversee the Artist Leadership Program at the NMAI, and it targets mid-career artists, uh, mid-career indigenous artists, uh, to come into the collections of the National Museum of the American Indian to do research, meet with staff, collaborate and interact with other artists, receive arts management training, uh, do some uh, public speaking uh, with staff and uh, the general public as well, and then uh, take all that information and go home or return back to their home communities and do a public project in uh, one of two ways. Uh, the first may be a youth public art project, and the second way is a community artist workshop. My name is Angela Babby. I'm a glass artist. I'm Oglala Lakota from Pine Ridge, South Dakota. I'm at the Red Cloud Indian School to teach a class for the National Museum of the American Indians Artist and Leadership Program. My name is Leah Maltby and I'm the visual arts um, high school teacher at Red Cloud Indian School. I think an opportunity for visiting artists to come in and work with the kids is great because the kids get to see um, what artists can do in their in real life instead of just hearing about it or reading in books they actually get to see what artists do and see the work they produce they get to see um, a wide range of different arts instead of just what I teach for example um, Angela Babby is coming in and I don't do stained glass or, or any kind of work with glass. So it's a really cool opportunity for the kids to experience um, different parts of the art world. Red Cloud Indian School is, it is a Jesuit run school and the Jesuit, uh, the Ignatian mentality is, is about education of the whole person. Um, the, hard, the hard courses, science, math, um, English, uh, those, those types of classes are important but they really believe in nurturing creativity and uh, um, spirituality through creative expression. So being able to, to expose um, high school students here at Red Cloud to professional artists like Angela and, and not just in a, in, a, in a second hand sort of way or a sitting in an audience and listening but really a hands-on project to, to learn about um, a new medium to learn about expressing their their experiences and their culture in any way that that fits them best, that's that's very Lakota in in um, essence and very Ignatian, and it's just an incredible opportunity for the students. I went to Washington D.C. to research the the cultural artifacts and the photographs of my ancestors in the archives. Chief Red Cloud and I share a grandfather, Old Smoke. One of the objects that I got to see in the archives was an Old Smoke son's shirt. And it was from 1865 and it was just positively thrilling. What we found is collaboration is key when it comes to sharing creativity. Uh, I think from a practical standpoint, the, the collections of historical and contemporary Native American art are all over the country. And those collections provide an inspiration for Native artists. And as, as we all know, it's, it's difficult to get to those locations sometimes. So these, these partnerships between uh, large, large institutions and, and smaller community-based organizations like ours are just incredible because it provides the, the financial resources, the training, um, and the opportunity to go to Washington, D.C. and spend time in their incredible collections then to come back to the community and work with, with students here to allow the community to see um, the final product of what comes out of those collaborations. These materials really inspire my art and I wanted to share what I saw with the children and create a public art project with them for their high school. 
Um, I think an experience like this would be really great. It helps people get more of an experience in art. I mean, it's really interesting. Like, when you see murals and don't really think about how much work goes into it until you actually do it. And this is a lot of work for just a little simple thing. It's kind of nerve-wracking, too, because you think you're going to break something. Three years ago, I entered the Red Cloud Indian Art Show at the Heritage Center. I won prizes on both of the works that I entered in the competition, and one of them, the naming ceremony, was purchased for their permanent collection. Out of that experience came a commission to artwork completed in 2009 for the new addition at the Red Cloud High School, and it's my largest piece. It's called Return of White Buffalo Calf Woman. You know, we began as an art show back in 1969 as an opportunity for Native artists to get a, a quality um, uh, art show on their resume, to be able to, to learn from other artists, and to present their work in a professional manner. And since then, we've, we've built a, a huge collection of 10,000 items of traditional and contemporary Native art. That creative passion that we see in all the pieces in our collection, um, we see it daily with the students here at Red Cloud with the community that we see at uh, local events and uh, through the artists who we, we purchase from for our gift shop. Uh, it's just such an ingrained part of the culture and community here. Since early childhood, my dad, Wyman Babby, brought my family and I to visit this area. And many of my relatives are buried here and went to school at the Mission. The Red Cloud School had nine Gate Scholars in 2011, and this was achieved on one of the poorest reservations in the United States. Red Cloud Indian School is considered one of the largest private Native American schools within this country. And what we do today at Red Cloud Indian School is keeping Red Cloud Stream alive by giving our students the skills they need to compete in mainstream society in hopes that they return to the Pine Ridge. The average within this country to attend a private school is around $12,000. But at Red Cloud Indian School, we are 100% tuition free. And that's because of the realities that exist here on the Pine Ridge Reservation of 80% unemployment rate, annual income per families. The average is just around $6,000. Glass mosaic is closely related to both quilting and beading. And so by teaching these kids my methods, they can find their own unique way to express themselves and to honor our heritage in the future. Yeah, I'm I loving it. <laughs> I love how you're pretty much making a picture out of a puzzle, jigsaw apparently, and how it's so much more different than just paper and pencil. My ancestors are the heart of inspiration for my art, and I, I want to preserve the cultural images from the past and forge new ways of interpreting Native American art. Hey, oh, hey.